Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Earth Studio to show point to point transition. Now, this is good uh, if you want to get like a fake drone footage for your videos. Uh, this is really helpful. Of course, it's not going to be perfect, but it does the job. Okay, so you just need to search for Google Earth Studio and you want to, uh, they will ask you for some inf uh, like personal information uh, so that they can approve you to use Google Earth Studio. Now you just need to search for Google Earth Studio, click on Google Earth Studio, and you want to click on Try Earth Studio in the top right, okay? So after that, they will ask you guys, like I said, for some personal information, your name, your address, stuff like that, and then they will approve you. In my experience, they approved me within like five seconds, so it's not going to take that, uh, it's not going to take a long time to, uh, before they approve you. It only takes a few seconds. Now after that, it will take you guys to this page and now you want to click on this arrow here uh, next to blank project project and then click on quick starts now after that guys you will uh, show you guys four different templates now for example if you want to choose like a uh, uh, zoom to or like for example point to point as you can see that's what we are going to do as you can see this is how it's going to look like okay I'm going to select here point to point and then click on start okay so after that you will have to select the first uh, the first for example if you want to uh, from city for example Los Angeles to another city or uh, like uh, from uh, a small area to another small you just need to enter the the first area for example I'm going to uh, search here for Inez again which is like the city of my car in the it's a city in uh, in my country now after that you want to click on this green arrow here and then you want to select the the last or the second uh the ending area okay so i'm going to select again here and then you can also make uh like you can also uh, like move this as you want where you want it to start here now after that you want to click on this arrow here and then what you guys need to do as you can see this is how it's going to look like Okay, after you are done guys, you want to click on this arrow here, this green arrow again. Okay, it will take you guys to this page. Now what you guys need to do, you want to, you can also like uh, edit this if you want. It's like an editor, you can edit the, if you want the ending to be close to the, the first uh, location that you want. As you can see, I'm going to make it a little bit, I'm going to make the video a little bit smaller here. Okay, so after that you want to click on the render in the top here. Make sure you select video here and you can give it a name, for example, fake drone footage. Okay, now after that you can also add the frames, for example, 60 frames to 270 and here you want to scroll down and click on submit. Now it's going to take a little bit, I would say like a few minutes for this to render. Now you just need to go now to animation in the top left and then you want to click on cloud renders and this is the, your video, just wait for it as you can see. It will take uh, probably like uh, 10, 10 minutes uh, for the video to complete. Uh, sometimes it takes more depending on the, like the video, okay? So after uh, the video completes, you will receive an email or you can just come to here and click on the download button once the video finishes rendering. As you can see, just need to click on download button and that's all guys you need to do to download the video. It's going to take around 10 minutes uh, or less, okay? So hopefully this one guys helped you. If it does, leave a like and see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. See you guys next video.